A remarkable scientific discovery has been made in China. Researchers say they've found the skull of what they believe is a new species of human, which could be our closest evolutionary relative. Scientists have discovered a new human species, and the implications are nothing short of revolutionary. We've long accepted that modern humans are part of the Homo sapiens species. But this revelation is about to challenge everything we thought we knew about our origins and human evolution. What is this remarkable new human species? Why is it sending shockwaves through the scientific community? Join us as we delve into the captivating journey of this newly discovered human species that raises major doubts about the origin of humans. The history of Homo sapiens has been truly remarkable, spanning millions of years. It all began with a pivotal evolution, the ability to walk upright on two legs. Sahelanthropus, one of our earliest ancestors, initiated this transformative journey approximately six million years ago. However, it would take another five million years for Homo sapiens to emerge. Diverse human species lived, evolved, and eventually died off during this extensive period. They coexisted, occasionally interacting and interbreeding, as their bodies and brains evolved. This evolution is evident in the tools and technologies they created. Today, scientists are peeling back the layers of this ancient history by unearthing bone and stone tools, decoding our genetic heritage, and reconstructing the ever-changing environments that shaped our ancestors' world. These endeavors seek to illuminate the journey of Homo sapiens from older hominin lineages encompassing both our extinct relatives and ancestors. The collected evidence indicates that Homo sapiens originated in Africa, but this origin is not bound to a specific time or place on the continent. Instead, distinct groups of human ancestors evolved physically and culturally in relative isolation. It was only when climate changes in the African landscape prompted intermittent interactions that the ancestors began exchanging genes and ideas, such as techniques for tool making. This dynamic process ultimately molded the unique genetic composition of modern humans. By tracing our species' migratory patterns and evolutionary pathways and those of our ancestors, we gain profound insights into our collective heritage. It is a captivating narrative of adaptation, survival, and the interwoven threads of humanity's past. In 2016, a groundbreaking discovery was unveiled in the remote Carpathian Mountains of Spain. Deep within the cave known as Cima de los Huesos, the Pit of Bones, thousands of teeth and bones belonging to 28 individuals were meticulously unearthed by scientific experts. After meticulous work, scientists extracted partial DNA from these ancient remains, uncovering a remarkable revelation. The individuals in this pit are the earliest identified Neanderthals, our nearest and most familiar kin. Researchers hypothesized that a shared ancestor of both modern humans and Neanderthals probably lived around 500,000 to 750,000 years ago. While our genes undeniably revealed the connection between contemporary humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans, a hominin species that has left significant traces in our DNA, our common ancestor's identity remains uncertain. Homo heidelbergensis, a species that thrived between 200,000 and 700,000 years ago, is a prominent candidate in the quest for this ancestor. This species appears to have branches in the African family tree, leading to Homo sapiens, and a European branch that resulted in Homo neanderthalensis and the Denisovans. Currently, pursuing a more comprehensive understanding relies on discovering more ancient DNA, though this is far from guaranteed. Regrettably, the cold, dry, and stable conditions necessary for the long-term preservation of genetic material are atypical in Africa. Consequently, only a handful of ancient African human genomes over 10,000 years have been successfully sequenced. Evidence often exhibits modern and primitive traits that do not consistently align with our present-day anatomy. Instead, distinct clusters of anatomical development emerged at various points in time and locations, resulting in humans with a wide array of physical appearances. A good example is the discovery of the remains of five individuals in Jebel Irhoud, Morocco, in 2017. The remains showed elements of a modern-looking face combined with indications of more archaic humans. These characteristics include elongated skulls, underscoring how early humans were widely distributed across Africa. This distribution was evident even in this ancient era, further emphasizing the complexity of our genetic heritage. 
Other ancient Homo sapiens fossils come from Floresbad, South Africa, dating approximately 260,000 years old, and from the Kibish Formation along Ethiopia's Omo River, about 195,000 years old. A remarkable discovery in Ethiopia in 1997 also revealed skulls from two adults and a child, estimated to be around 160,000 years old. These skulls, classified as Homo sapiens idaltu, exhibited such striking similarities to modern humans that some researchers question whether they represent a distinct subspecies. Similarly, in 1976 in Nagaloba, Tanzania, an unearthed Homo sapiens skull from a 120,000-year-old individual displayed a blend of archaic and contemporary features. This interplay of characteristics has sparked debates among researchers, allowing for diverse interpretations regarding the definition of modern humans. Some scholars propose a simplified classification, grouping all these fossils into a single, diverse collective. Approximately 300,000 years ago, evidence indicated a significant shift in African material culture. Crude stone tools were replaced by meticulously crafted blades and projectile points, representing the pinnacle of tool-making refinement during the Middle Stone Age. However, the question remains, where do these fossils fit into this narrative? The answer lies in the discovery of fully modern humans with their distinctive features. For instance, a skull found in Ethiopia's Omo Kibish, dating back 195,000 years, bears a remarkable resemblance to contemporary humans. In contrast, another skull from Nigeria's Iwo Eleru cave, though only 13,000 years old, exhibits a more archaic appearance. These variations underscore the non-linear nature of human evolution and challenge the idea of a singular moment when all individuals fully became modern humans. We know today that the emergence of modern humans and their tools traces back to our ancestors who began their journey with stone tools. This is a modest beginning, dating back 3.3 million years. However, around 1.75 million years ago, they adopted the Akulian culture, marking a pivotal shift. This era introduced hefty hand axes and various cutting implements that would last approximately 1.5 million years. Moving on to around 400,000 years ago, in what is now Germany, our ancestors embraced sophisticated technology in the form of thrusting spears. These spears were a remarkable innovation, enabling them to hunt large game, albeit with limitations, as they were effective only at close range. Nevertheless, our ancestors evolved, refining their physical attributes significantly. Approximately 300,000 years ago, there was a major advancement in tool technology. Craftsmanship reached new levels as finely crafted implements with scale points were attached to spear shafts, significantly improving hunting capabilities. In southern Kenya, projectile points dating back 298,000 to 320,000 years were a game-changing innovation. These points allowed early Homo sapiens to successfully hunt elusive and dangerous creatures, reshaping their interactions with the environment and other humans. Over time, additional tools like scrapers and bone spinnerets were developed, enabling the processing of animal skins for clothing and the shaping of various materials. Bone spike tips, like the Inca ones in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, were practical tools for spearfishing at least 90,000 years ago. These advancements in tool technology, like the fossils found alongside them, appeared in different regions and eras. This suggests diverse groups of people who evolved and potentially shared these innovations. Some of these groups were not our direct ancestors. An intriguing discovery near Chennai, India, revealed a collection of complex stone blades dating back at least 250,000 years ago. These blades emerged shortly after the appearance of modern humans in Africa, raising the possibility that other species independently developed this technology. Another theory is that some modern humans ventured out of Africa earlier than previously believed, spreading their knowledge to distant lands. Beyond Africa, Homo sapiens embarked on migrations. However, it seems that our urge to explore and migrate happened much earlier than previously believed by scientists. Separately, a jawbone discovery within a collapsed cave on Mount Carmel in Israel suggests that modern humans inhabited the area along the Mediterranean between 177,000 and 194,000 years ago. The jaw and teeth at the Mislia Caves in Mount Carmel are unmistakably similar to those of modern humans. What's intriguing is that they were discovered alongside advanced hand axes and flint tools. Other discoveries in the region, including three persons found in Kafsa, Israel, date later, ranging from 100,000 to 130,000 years ago. 
This suggests that humans have had a long-standing presence in the area. Notably, at Kafsa, human remains were found alongside implements stained with red ochre, possibly indicating the oldest purposeful human burial. Further evidence from 80,000 to 120,000 years ago has been uncovered in the limestone cave systems of southern China. A 100,000-year-old jawbone from Jirindong retains some archaic characteristics but otherwise closely resembles Homo sapiens. Additionally, a cave in Daoshang contained a fascinating array of ancient teeth, barely distinguishable from modern humans, suggesting that Homo sapien populations were already living far from Africa between 80,000 and 120,000 years ago. It also raises the possibility of even earlier migrations. Some researchers speculate that people arrived in Europe as early as 210,000 years ago. However, one discovery that stands out is the skull fragment found in southern Greece, which may be over 200,000 years old. It could be the earliest identified modern human fossil outside of Africa. However, the site remains a subject of dispute among scholars. Some suggest that the poorly preserved remains resemble Neanderthals, whose fossils were discovered nearby in the same cave. Furthermore, questions have been raised about the accuracy of the site's dating analysis, mainly because the fossils have long since fallen out of their original geological layers. While many human groups lived outside of Africa during these periods, they are ultimately unrelated to our evolutionary journey. Genetic analysis can distinguish between groups of people who are distant ancestors and those whose lineages have since vanished. Recent DNA tests have unveiled compelling evidence that most non-African populations, from Europeans to Australia's Aboriginal people, can trace their lineage to a momentous migration out of Africa, which commenced around 50 to 60,000 years ago. This migration aligns with climate reconstructions, indicating lower sea levels, which provided abundant opportunities for human migration out of Africa, mainly through the Arabian Peninsula and the Middle East. A significant migration event around 55,000 years ago further supports this theory. Interestingly, earlier African migrants who ventured into regions like the Middle East or China may have interbred with more archaic hominids that were present at the time. Nevertheless, their genetic legacies appear to have gradually diminished or merged with subsequent waves of migration. It's crucial to acknowledge that for most of our history, Homo sapiens were not the sole inhabitants of our planet. We coexisted and frequently interbred with other hominin species, including unidentified ones. Over time, these other species gradually faded away, leaving Homo sapiens as the exclusive representatives of humanity. Remarkably, a few of these human species, including Homo floresiensis, often called the Hobbit, persisted until relatively recently on an evolutionary time scale. Fossils discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores prove that this smaller early human species thrived until approximately 50,000 years ago. However, the fate of the hobbit remains unknown as they do not seem closely related to modern humans, including the Rampasasa pygmy population residing in the same region today. Neanderthals, formerly inhabiting locations across Eurasia from Portugal and the British Isles to Siberia, declined as Homo sapiens populations flourished and expanded in these territories. Neanderthals ultimately went extinct approximately 40,000 years ago. But there are indications that isolated groups may have clung to existence in remote regions like Gibraltar until around 29,000 years ago. Till today, vestiges of Neanderthals persist within the genomes of modern humans. As many individuals today bear Neanderthal DNA in their genetic composition, this stands as evidence of interbreeding when our species encountered ancient relatives. On the other hand, the mysterious Denisovans pose an even more intriguing puzzle due to the scarcity of their fossils. Uncertainty shrouds their physical appearance and whether they represent multiple distinct species. Recent genome analyses in Papua New Guinea propose that humans may have coexisted and interbred with Denisovans as recently as 15,000 years ago, though these claims remain debated among scientists. While physical evidence remains elusive, the Denisovans' genetic legacy is more tangible. Many present-day Asians carry 3 to 5 percent of Denisovan DNA, a lasting imprint from these enigmatic cousins. This revelation adds complexity to our ancestral journey, raising questions as well as the potential for breakthroughs as we assemble the puzzle of our origins. The discovery of new human species continues to reshape our understanding of the past, with each finding providing missing links or complicating ancestral narratives.
Nonetheless, ongoing exploration is what makes our species story captivating. Here comes the Dragon Man, a remarkable discovery in the depths of northeastern China. The Dragon Man's skull, hidden in a pit for decades, challenges our comprehension of human origins. This finding has sparked debates among scientists and redefined the human family tree. The tale unfolds in the early 1930s against the backdrop of the Japanese invasion of northeast China. Local inhabitants were constructing a bridge near Harbin when their shovels unearthed an extraordinary treasure from the riverbed, an almost complete human skull. This discovery immediately seized their attention with its striking features. An enlarged skull, a prominent brow ridge, hollow eye sockets, and an impressive size. Recognizing the profound significance of this discovery, the finder carefully concealed the skull in an abandoned well. Nearly nine decades later, a groundbreaking study featured in the Journal of Innovation thrust this ancient skull back into the forefront of scientific inquiry. This research posits that the skull represents a new human species christened Homo longi, often called the Dragon Man or Harbin Skull. Further investigations estimate that this skull once belonged to an individual who roamed the Earth at least 146,000 years ago. Its unique amalgamation of ancient and modern anatomical traits positions it in an extraordinary niche within the intricate tapestry of the human family tree. Drawing from the shape and dimensions of the Dragon Man, experts postulate that it shares a close affinity with other enigmatic human fossils unearthed in Asia during the same epoch. Astonishingly, some researchers have even suggested that these fossils may hold more profound connections to our species than the famed Neanderthals. However, this classification and species identification have ignited passionate debates within the scientific community. Certain scholars have proposed the intriguing possibility of a potential link between the Dragon Man and the mysterious Denisovans, another ancient hominid group known for their scant fossil records. With the revelation of the Dragon Man's skull, the complexities and mysteries surrounding the human family tree become sharper as we persist in solving the puzzle of our origins. Before his passing, the laborer who stumbled upon the skull shared his long-held secret with his grandchildren. In 2018, these grandchildren returned to the well, hoping to reclaim their reward. News of this discovery reached Xiang Ji, a paleontologist at Hape Jiao University in China, who assumed the leadership of the current study. Uncertain of its significance, he snapped a photograph to share with others. The fossil proved extraordinarily well-preserved and featured a perplexing blend of traits. The Harbin skull exhibited a squat and broad structure with a high forehead, reminiscent of ancient hominins. Only a solitary tooth remained within this jawless cranium, distinguished by its rarity in modern humans. Yet other characteristics, such as delicate cheekbones that lay flat and low on the face, bore a closer resemblance to our species. The family who had discovered the specimen chose to donate it to Hebei Geo University's Geoscience Museum in China. A research team investigated, collecting data from 95 fossil crania, jawbones, and teeth representing various hominid groups. They then meticulously analyzed over 600 traits. Utilizing a supercomputer, they generated billions of phylogenetic trees, shedding light on the evolutionary connections between hominins. According to many experts, the most likely scenario placed the Harbin skull on a new branch closely linked to our species. Some researchers contend that the Harbin cranium's distinctiveness from other human fossils warrants its classification as a separate species. The comprehensive research defining this new species outlines its defining characteristics, including extraordinarily square eye openings, an elongated and low skull, the absence of a midline ridge on the skull, and more. Nevertheless, not all scientists and external specialists agree on whether the Dragon Man represents a distinct species or agree on its placement within the human family tree. According to Dr. Laura Buck from Liverpool John Moores University, many distinguishing features in these skulls appear to be aggregations of traits rather than distinct individual features. She anticipates some degree of variation even within a single species, as differences related to sex, age, geographical adaptations, fossil age, and other factors can all contribute to minor individual discrepancies. So, what exactly was the Dragon Man, if not a unique species? Christopher Brian Stringer, a British physical anthropologist, points out a similar amalgamation of modern and ancient traits in the Dali cranium, which was categorized in the same group as the Harbin skull in the latest study. 
The Dolly Cranium, discovered in Shangxi Province in northwest China, is classified as a hominid species known as Homo daliensis. Then there are the enigmatic Denisovans. Although not officially recognized as a distinct species, this group is believed to have inhabited Asia for tens of thousands of years. Several Asian fossils have been identified as Denisovan members. However, genetic confirmation is necessary due to the limited fossil evidence of their existence. The preservation of DNA becomes increasingly unlikely with older fossils. Nonetheless, scientists have recently announced the discovery of a fragmented jaw on the Tibetan Plateau, likely from a Denisovan, marking the first fossil of these ancient humans found outside of the cave from which the group takes its name. According to the newly proposed phylogenetic tree, the Dragon Man is most closely connected to this jaw, known as the Xiaohua Mandible. According to these findings, the common ancestor of Neanderthals and Denisovans diverged from Homo sapiens ancestors approximately 600,000 years ago. This ancestor then separated into two groups, with Neanderthals spreading across Europe and the Middle East, and Denisovans spreading into Asia. However, the relationships between these groups are intricate and challenging to resolve. More evidence may be forthcoming, as neither research team mentioned in the new article explores the feasibility of genetic analysis on the Dragon Man. However, they are proceeding cautiously, as such a study would necessitate the destruction of small fossil samples. Whether or not the Dragon Man represents a new species, its exceptionally well-preserved traits serve as a reminder that nature rarely adheres to strict boundaries. The classification of human evolutionary history will only become more complex as new discoveries continue to emerge. The Dragon Man presents an intriguing array of possibilities. The exact location where the laborer unearthed this skull remains somewhat uncertain, but it's notably far to the north of China. Michael Petralia, a paleoanthropologist at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History who was not involved in the study, offered some valuable insights. He points out that even in today's relatively mild climate, winter temperatures in this region can plummet into the single digits in degrees Fahrenheit. Considering this, it's likely that 146,000 years ago, the weather wasn't much warmer. The researchers believe some of the skull's distinctive features may be adaptations to this significantly colder environment. According to Petralia, this harsh environment could have also isolated the Dragon Man and its kin from other hominins possibly contributing to the unique traits we observe in the fossil today. The Dragon Man unfolds many possibilities, inviting us to explore the mysteries of our origin and evolution. As we venture deeper into the enigma of this discovery, one thing is certain. The story of our human evolution continues to be a source of endless fascination. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.